In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can delete the record from the database table. Deleting records can be frustrating if you are using standard PHP code. Using PHP classes, I'm going to show you a very easiest way to delete the record from the database table. Now let's get started and see how to create and delete the record from the database. So I'm going to start with a class keyword because I'm using object oriented PHP and then I'm going to specify the class name delete data. Then I'm going to extend controller. In this class, I have the connection of the database. Now just start that in this class, I'm going to create a new method. So I'm going to start with the public keyword, then specify function and then I'm going to pass delete record method name. In this method, I'm going to pass two arguments. So the first argument is id, which is the required argument to this method. So I'm going to specify id is equal to null, and then I'm going to pass table is equal to user. In my database, I have the user table. So I'm going to specify the name of that table as a default value to this argument. Now, just after that, in this method, I'm going to say if this connection is not equal to null, if the connection is not closed, I'm going to execute this if statement, and here I'm going to call if so I'm going to check if the required parameter, this first parameter is not null, then I'm going to execute this if statement. So in this if, I'm going to just create SQL query. So I'm going to create a variable, query string, and pass sprintf function. So this function is going to return formatted string to this variable. In the double code, I'm going to pass delete from table name. So I'm going to specify this argument here. Now, just out of that, I'm going to just specify where cause, and here I'm going to say where id is equal to this id parameter so when we call this method we need to pass id of the row so we can delete the particular record so i'm going to specify id and specify this first required parameter here just out that i'm going to just execute this sql statement so i'm going to create a new variable result and specify this connection and call query method using query i'm going to execute this statement so in this query, I'm going to just pass this query string. Now, once this query method execute, I'm going to store it in this result variable. And down here, I'm going to say, if I have the result from this executed query, I'm going to just execute echo statement. And here I'm going to say, record deleted successfully. Now you know that how to call this method. So I'm going to create a new object. And using this object, I can access this method. So I'm going to just see here object and specify delete record. And as you know, I have the required parameter to this method. So I'm going to specify that parameter in this parenthesis. So I'm going to specify here one because I have two records in my database and one record has ID one. So I'm going to specify here one to delete the first record. So when I execute this statement, it's going to delete my first record from the database. Let me show you. So here you can notice I have a database DB name and in this database, I have user table. I already specified this user table name as a default parameter to the delete method. You can notice here. I'm going to just specify this table name user as a default parameter to this method. In this table, I have two records, which is the dummy data. Now, what I want, I want to delete this first record. As you can notice, I have ID one to this first record. So I'm going to get this ID and delete this first record using delete method. And now I just wanted to execute this file in the browser. So once I execute my program, when I refresh this table, I'm going to have only one record in this table. The first record of this table is actually deleted. Now, if you want to extend this class, you are free to do that. You just need to specify extend keyword and specify your class name. When you create a new class, then you can access this method in the new class as well. And for example, if you have different table name, you can specify the table name here or as a parameter to this method. In case if you want to change the table name, you can change the table name using this argument or you can change it using this parenthesis. So here you can pass a new parameter, just specify comma and pass the value to this second argument. So you just need to specify here single code or double code and specify table name. So for example, I have product table. I'm going to specify product here to delete the record from the product table. So you're not limited to only use this method only for the single table. You can use it for multiple tables as well. So I hope you understand how to delete the record from the database. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.